forward to the council we go. Oh shit. Come on. Citadel Tower. Uh, this fucking council dude. No, not that way. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. You know, somehow, I don't think he, he'll give a shit that you stripped him of his position. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Yeah. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Yeah, does it matter? It's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Ah... Uh, again. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. That's right. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Jesus Christ, ignorant pricks! 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Same old bullshit. Ignorant pricks. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Says you. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward.
It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Yeah, about time. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Udina seems to be more excited than I am. <laughs> Not even a thank you from the Ambassador. Yeah. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Yay, Spectre bitches! Now I got the... Uh, Unity. Ah, oh, hell. I need more talents. Skill points, whatever. Oh, I'm a specter now. Let's see if this guy will talk to me now. No, I'm wait. There you go. Congratulations on becoming the first human specter, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Sorry, I don't think we've met. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the specters. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Problems, you say? Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. All right, fine. I'll look for them if I have time. Well, that's more than most will commit to. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Yes, holding your breath uh, I'll usually. I'll the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. Usually ends up bad. <clears throat> Wait, where am I going? Oh, shit. I hope he's okay. He's probably not okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Bitch, please. Don't you know who I am? Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm more than a soldier, bitch. I'm a specter. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. A specter? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. They have bad news all around. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Forget. Why would I forget it? Now, see Give me what the coordinates. I can do. 
I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Yep. Uh, before we head out, I'm pretty sure I have to deliver some shit. Uh, Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? No, that's a lie. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. You owe me more, bitch. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist! But you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. FYI, I didn't kill Fist. Rex did. I just watched and enjoyed it. Ah, ah, ah. Funny, right? Time to blow this to the docking bay. Wait, what? Yes, docking bay. Ah, oh, fuck me. Fuck. Me. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Ugh. Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Forgot to speak to the Spectre requisition prick. I'll do that some other time. Time to blow this popsicle stand. Release me! I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Yes, yeah, spoiler warning. Blue alien sexy time. So, yeah. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. 
You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. <laughs> That's your job, janitor. Political janitor. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yeah, I know. No questions. Hmm. What? Well, this is quite the view, Commander. What? You mean the ship or my ass? Are you a dyke? I'm confused. Come on, stupid selective thingy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, finally done with the citadel. More fake load screens. Yay. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. I'm ready, bitch. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Now we do things my way. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past, no reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. He doesn't ma- Really? Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. Only for Renegade. Kind of uh, annoying there. So, yeah. Before we do anything else... Let's check out the lower deck cargo hold. Yes, thank you. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Paying for it? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses? No goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Uh, no mu- The Spectre weapons. The best in the game and also the most expensive. 
obviously. Uh, ooh. Fine. Let's see why I do not want. Uh, actually. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Fifty shields works for me. Nothing. Oh, high explosive, yes. Yes, please. Nothing better, obviously. I don't really use shotguns. But you know, whatever. Might as well have it. Uh, let's see, what am I gonna use? Rex? Nothing. That's it for now. Uh, and before I go on, I think I'm gonna do some crew conversations. So yeah, we'll start with actually. <laughs>